As the dust settles on the 10,000 meters day two of the athletics program, we'll have a host of more Kenyans on the track. Focus will be on the non-traditional Kenyan races. This time round, it will be in the 100-meter dash. And as Michael Kenya reports, Kenyan sprinter Marco Tieno says, impossible is nothing. The D-Day is finally here, and Marco Tieno, together with Ferdinand Omanyala, will have to go through the preliminary round Saturday morning before they take part in the first round in the evening at the Tokyo Stadium. Mark Otieno has been waiting for this moment. I just want to thank God that I qualified. Two, I just want to thank the support that you know Safaricom that has given me, um, just to you know boost for my for this Olympics. At least it's a confident that you know my account it's not at nil. <laughs> This being the best of the best in sports, all the top athletes from across the world are in Tokyo and all chasing the medals. Marco Tieno is not different and has set his targets very high. Oh, I just believe that I'm capable of reaching at the finals and you know we're all humans, they're all humans, USA, Jamaica and the rest. So I'm like, I'm just trying to push myself and give myself a motivation so that I can reach at the finals, so that's my aim. The preliminary round is actually for the slower athletes in the 100 meter dash. Most of the qualified athletes who make the finals run a sub 10 seconds time. They say when you want to dream, dream big. And that is what Marco Tieno is doing. Getting to the finals is not that hard, but it depends on how much you want it. To be honest, that one I can say I'm leaving it to God. I just do my level best where I've trained Malini Pepeña Minificisha. I'm just really looking forward to, you know, push myself and just to see the limit where I'll reach. But my main aim is to reach at the final and hopefully if I can get a medal for that and to surprise and shock the world, that's what you are <laughs> hoping for. He is confident of breaking the barriers considering he actually qualified for the Olympic Games with the last chance on offer at the Olympic Games trials in Nairobi. For the long distance runners, the heat and humidity in Tokyo is punishing. For the sprinters, they say it's a perfect weather to show what they got. Michael Kinyi for Citizen TV in Tokyo, Japan.